Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix this error right here. The redirected you too many times error. Um, a lot of you guys will get this issue if you're migrating hosts, you migrate your website over uh, to a brand new hosting company and you automatically get this redirected you too many times error. And most of the time, most, not all of the time, this issue is because you've installed a plugin that does redirection um, from HTTP to HTTPS. But for example, if you're moving to RootPal and you're using Plesk, uh, the Plesk control panel, um, Plesk is already designed and built to automatically redirect you from HTTP to HTTPS. So you don't need these plugins because it'll already direct the traffic towards there. Uh, these plugins don't break if you install them after the fact of being on the hosting. And what I mean by that is if you have a Plesk account and you build a website off of it, then you install the plugin. The plugin's smart enough to know when you activate it that it will not break your site. However, if you're migrating and you get this and you're saying, oh, my site's broken, I don't know what to do. Well, let's check out the file manager um, to see if we do have, you know, that HT access uh, redirect thing. So if we open up code editor and you'll see that the really simple SSL plugin uh, HT access stuff is in here. So 90% of the time, just removing this and always make a backup of your HD access because you're probably gonna have a bunch of other stuff in here. Always make a backup of your HT access file just in case, you know. So you could do that by clicking save as and then, you know, dot HT access dot back. And you can qu quick uh, quickly create a little backup. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and click save and it should fix the website right but not in this case so the reason why it's not fixing it is because I know what's actually wrong with the website and there's another thing if you use a CDN provider right so most of the time removing that plugin and you can also go into W content go to the plugins and just rename this file as well. I would suggest doing that and typing disabled and that disables the plugin. And you can do that for any plugin on WordPress actually. Uh, but now that we know the really simple SSL plugins disabled, we remove the HT access and it's still not working. Well, if you are using Cloudflare, you will want to go to the SSL slash TLS tab and you want to head over to the overview and we're going to make sure that we are on full. So a lot of times Cloudflare, when you add it to Cloudflare or you might be using, um, you know, Cloudflare for a while and it's not, uh, you've had it on flexible, but the best way and the most recommended by Cloudflare is to have it on full. And so what this does is it encrypts the both ends end to end using a self-signed certificate on the server. So if you have full on, it will fix the issue because if you have flexible on, um, it's not fully uh, encrypting traffic directly from the server. So we need full on. And if we go ahead and refresh now, we figured it out. It was Cloudflare that was breaking the site. It wasn't this plugin. It wasn't simple SSL. It was actually Cloudflare and we needed it to be on full instead of flexible. So that's how you fix your website with that redirection error. Um, but let's say you're not using Cloudflare and you're using the server 99, 95% of the time, it's going to be an issue with your .ht access file with some type of redirection that's going on in here. And there are multiple plugins that do this. Really simple SSL plugin is one, but there are a couple others out there and you simply don't need it. You don't need it if you're using Cloudflare. 
you don't need it if you use Plesk, which auto redirects traffic. So there's no really need for it. There are other things those plugins provide for more security. I'm not 100% sure, but if I were to install really simple SSL plugin now, reinstall it, it should work because really simple SSL plugin is smart and it will install correctly without breaking my website uh, because it already is working. So that's how you fix that issue. Um, it's your .ht access, or if you're using Cloudflare, you wanna have that SSL on full, not flexible. Thank you.